Yeah. Today I figured why not hit y'all with a Q&A, you feel me? Cause I've been gone for too long. You know, I've been gone for two weeks. To me, that's hella long. Um, you know, cause the way I upload, I upload consistently, but it's been two weeks, so I ain't really been on that like that, you feel me? But that's okay, I'ma hit y'all with this video, and then we're gonna get back on track after this. So I told y'all, man, um, I'm doing the q and I told y'all to give me some questions. I didn't get that many people. I see how we rocking, you feel me? I thought we was like this, you feel me? And we ain't, y'all proved me wrong. I appreciate the people who care about me enough to ask me questions, man. If you wanna, if you wanna get to know me a little bit more, you feel me? This is how we do it. So the first question uh, asked on Instagram, um, we got love, live, uh, wait, long live, I'm a, look, Suarez, I don't know. He said, what made you start YouTube? All right, so I started YouTube, man. Yeah, I can go back, look at my old videos, man. I started YouTube, but, well, I ain't gonna say start, but my first video I made like four years ago, all right? Um, I didn't really start taking it serious until maybe about like two years ago. Uh, so, but what really made me start taking it serious was I tried moving to California, right? I made a story something about this. It's, it's a super old video. I tried moving to California, right? And then when I tried moving there, I met my favorite YouTuber. Uh, at the time, it was Timothy De La Ghetto. I met him, and then that kind of made me want to start taking YouTube serious. So, yeah. Got my nigga Jay Flocker. He said, what made you want to make advice videos? Really, man, with the advice videos, I didn't want to make advice videos. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it's like, it's like I had to make them because these or those type of videos are the ones that you guys are attracted to. So I'm like, you know what? Like, I've, I've literally tried almost everything on YouTube, bro. You know, and with the advice videos, those are the videos that you guys want to watch. And so I'm like, okay, what I can do is I can just say make, I, what? I can make, what the hell was that? What I could do is I can make advice videos and then just make them entertaining. You feel me? And I think that's really what made y'all like me more. Not the fact that I was making advice videos, but the fact that I can do that and also be funny at the same time. So that's really why I started doing it. It was really to grab y'all attention and so y'all can watch my other videos or just, you know, just watch me and keep up to date with me. My nigga Maynor, I ain't gonna say the last, your last part of your name, but <laughs> he said, what's one big goal you have in life? Uh, boy, one big goal of mine is to move out of St. Louis. You feel me? That's where I stay right now. I stay in St. Louis, Missouri. If you don't know where it's at, I don't know to tell you. Uh, but yeah, that's really a goal of mine, just to move out of the city, man. I've always wanted to move out. You know, I've always wanted to move to California. And at this point, uh, I don't know, bro. I feel like everybody on the California way, like, you know, but honestly, bro, California fun, bro. California fun, man, is different. Uh, especially, you know, just coming from where I come from is different. And every time I go, I've been like three or four times. It's always a vibe, bro. Like every time I'm in California, bro, I never have a bad vibe. I'll just be chilling. Like it's just, I don't know, bro. It's just, is where I need to be. Chris Too Smooth, he said, have you ever had a nine to five? I got a nine to five right now, what you mean? Hey, I don't know, y'all must think I'm I'm popular or something, but y'all must think, hell nah, I still got a nine to five. But that, well, I'm gonna tell y'all what I do. I'm a delivery driver. And I tell you what, man, the day where I can quit that move, man, look, bruh. Y'all gonna be the first ones to know, bruh, cause I'm a boy. Boy, 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 boy. Hey, it's coming though, it's coming. These YouTube checks, hey, these YouTube you, these YouTube checks are now coming um every month. Before it was every other month. You know what I'm saying? So I rock with y'all, man, keep supporting me, bro. Um, We're gonna get these shirts out so I can get more support. You feel me? And hey. It's coming. Uh, TXIV King. He said, favorite high school memory and pros and cons of doing YouTube. Uh, love the content. I appreciate you, bro. Favorite high school memory. I don't know. My favorite high school memory, man, I would probably say it's like going to homecoming. Um, if you didn't know, uh, I didn't go to prom. You feel me? So, because um, that's a whole story. I'm pretty sure I told it on my, um, my channel. But going to homecoming, every time I went to homecoming, bro, I had fun. You feel me? Or... Or even after homecoming, I had hella fun. So those are the memories that, you know, I always think back to like, dang, man, I had hella fun. Like, you know, just hanging out with friends and just chilling. All right, so I also put it on my YouTube. We got eight questions on there, man. If you didn't put a question, I don't know what to tell you. Got the one. He said, how tall are you? 
I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, man. A lot of these people on here be lying. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. I'm pretty sure I'm like five seven, five eight on a good day. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, I'm short. Uh, I don't want to be short. I mean, if I could change my height, if I could change my height, I'd probably be. I wouldn't be too tall. You feel me? I want to be like a maybe like a good five eleven, six foot. You feel me? Like that ain't too tall, but it ain't too short. But a lot of people still look at me and be like. You know, you're not short. I don't know. I think I'm like, I'm like tall, skinny. You feel me? Like, you ever seen a skinny person and they look tall because they skinny? I feel like that's just, maybe just, that's just what it is with me. I don't know. Said, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, you, she been on the channel. Have you I not noticed that? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's even posted on my Instagram. See, that's how I know you don't follow me on Instagram. Dang, you messing up, man. You lacking. You caught. What inspired you to do it? What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? It was really just watching people like Chris Smooth, watching people like Timothy De La Ghetto. Um, watching people like Delano, if y'all know what that is, I'm just all the OGs, bro, just watching them and being like, dang, I just wanna, I just wanna make content, bro. I think I'm funny, you know. Like even when I was in high school, like I was always funny. Even middle school, bro, I can go all the way back to middle school. I promise you, bro, I was one of the funniest people in middle school because people, like, I would do different stuff in middle school, bro. Like I would literally like make faces. Like certain faces, like people would come up to me and be like, make the face, make the face. I would uh, I would do voice in, uh, impressions in middle school, not knowing that these are voice impressions. Like now I know I was making voice impressions. Back then I was just making funny voices. So I would make like a Bill Cosby uh, voice impression. And this is in middle school, bro. So yeah, man, I always been funny. So I'm like, why not show the world? By the way, I love the videos. Keep it up. I appreciate you, bro. It's getting hot in this bit, man. Right, boy. I hope y'all don't see this sweat building up. Narcotic Gaming. Said, have you ever gotten to fight in high school or college? No, I haven't. Um, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all once again. You know, the one thing y'all gonna get from me, I'm gonna keep it above 50. You feel me? Um, I have never been in a fight. Now, I've been in a play fight. Like, I've... I ain't gonna cap, bro. I low-key got in a play fight with a girl, and she, and she almost made me cry. I ain't gonna cap. And then, like, second grade, I got into a fight, and I won that. Hey, I... Hey. But that's, that's, that's when I was... Come on, that's, that's too old. But I ain't never really gotten in a fight. I feel like God ain't put me in a fight for a reason. Because I'm just, I'm a different kind of breed when I get mad, bro. Like, well, I, I put it like this. I almost got into a fight uh, my last semester. Last semester at college, I almost got into a fight. Um, see, what happens is, man, with me in fights is, usually when I, I don't go out fighting people. They want to fight me, you feel me? Or if I feel like you on something, then we can fight. And usually at the time, it's like, I be on that, but they don't be on that. You feel me? Like, once it's like, okay, bro, like, what's the word? You feel me? People don't really be trying to fight. And then I just be like, okay, like, I'm over it. You feel me? So, yeah. Not saying I know how to fight. Not saying I beat everybody up. I'm pretty sure, look, everybody gonna take a loss once in their life, bro. I'm not... I just I just believe in standing up for yourself, man. Uh, LDN TV said, what's the best way to text girls? I made a video on it. Um, pretty sure you can go find it. You just looked at my videos. Got Orlan Frey. He said, you ever gonna do a fan meetup or something? Yeah, bro, I really I would really like that, bro. No cap. Um, man, I do YouTube for the people, man. So it's only right that I, you know, do a fan meetup one day. Not right now, obviously, because I don't got that many followers. I mean, only eight people commented on this, you know, on this video, so. Uh, yeah, man. Eventually, man, I, I do, man. I, I appreciate y'all, man. So I just want to give back to the people, man. It's all about y'all. You know, if I do a meet and greet, it's more than just a meet and greet. It's a meet and greet. Plus, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna give out tips or whatever. Like, we don't. We just. I'm gonna just do stuff to help y'all to help my community. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, we got random person. He said, "How to pull in quarantine?" Uh, I mean, I showed y'all, man. These are all the videos I made. You can make. You, need, you can make uh, uh, dating apps, you feel me? We done did that. We done picked up girls at the drive-thru. There's so many ways you can pick up girls in quarantine. Uh, we got Joseph477, how do I get a girl jealous? Uh, I'm pretty sure I made a video on that too, but one way is to just talk to other girls, you feel me? And she see that, she gonna get jealous. We got Preston, Preston said, my favorite music artist. My favorite music artist is Playboy Cardi. I've been liking Playboy Cardi ever since Broke boy, maybe even before broke boy. You feel me? Like I don't know. It was just one day, like back in the day, or like a couple of years ago. I was like, man, I want to, I want to listen to some new artists, and I, and I end up finding Playboy Cardi, and I, and I end up liking them. So ever since then, I liked them. But now 
I'm starting to not like him, but at the end of the day, it's still Playboy Cardi, so I'm gonna I'm rock with him. <laughs> and then we got Z Man Gaming. What made you want to do YouTube? And I already answered this, so, uh, hey man, I appreciate y'all, man. Um, we're gonna keep going up. Before I get up out of here, man, I want to keep making this a thing where I shout you guys out. So I'm gonna shout out everybody who commented in my last video. And if you want to shout out, you just have to simply comment on this video to get shouted on my next video. All right, shout out to, uh, to Caleb, shout out to JP, Sam, Matthew, uh, Demi Guy, um, uh, King Ivy, that's my guy, uh, uh, Savinci, uh, Mikey, Trey, uh, Dan Trail, uh, Just Name, uh, Jacob, and King Retro. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Deuces.